Well, howdy, howdy there, friends and new members to my channel. I am the level 100 Agron, and this is my Soul Calibur 5 rank series called Heaven's Net. <laughs> um, this was the leftover footage from. I and I don't want to make it sound like it's bad games or anything like that because it is not by any means. Um, this is the leftover footage from um, episode 10. So, like I said, I recorded for like four or five hours, so I do, did have uh, plenty of footage, um, and uh, that, that's what I was shooting for anyway. I was shooting for uh, two to three episodes off of, you know, playtime at least. Um, so thankfully we got two, and this will be my Friday upload for this week as well. So we hit every single day, actually. Um, we even got two videos a day, um, believe it or not. A couple of those days we had two videos. Maybe you guys didn't notice it. Uh, right there, I wasn't going to be cocky. I was trying to regain some health because I had been practicing the um, Enter Bliss Just Frame for the landing, which is a little goofy, but if you land it, you're going to regain, I think it's like half of his health. So, uh, yeah. And if you see somebody sidestep while you're still up there, just mix it up and go into your stance because that's just a better option in general than uh, coming down, they sidestep it, and um, you get punished for it. Um, at least if you get hit in the, uh, the stance, they can't combo you afterwards. But if they, uh, if they catch you as you land, they will be able to combo and punish for a good amount of damage, assuming they know their character. Um, I don't know what this guy's deal was, I don't know if he knew his character or not. Um, it was just a match that, I don't know, I kind of liked how I played, so I wanted to, uh, use it. Um, hopefully I can get some, um, hopefully they're, not hopefully I can get, um, because it's already over. Um, hopefully... I, there are some um, suicide victories in here because I know I had um, one subscriber asking me for more suicide Yoshimitsu uh, matches and like I said there's one special one at the very end my friend um, because it's the first time I've ever had that happen so <laughs> so you'll think it's pretty funny um, I mean it's nothing extraordinary or out of the ordinary but um, I mean, it's the first time in 300 hours or 400 hours of Soul Calibur 5 that I've ever had that happen. Um, and I'm not taunting to be a douche. He beat me a game before that when I was playing Raffi Elbert. And, um, he started taunting after he won. So, I thought I'd return the favor. Um, one thing to note is running Flea, um, just regularly, uncomboed, is unsafe. Um, you can be punished from it because of him getting off of his uh, pogo stick. And I actually had the mindset that um, just framed Majin Carpus would um, cancel out his wake up attack. Um, and if, if you're having problems with Ziba's uh, using that wake up attack a lot, just jump attack over it. You can do a jumping B, or if you have a move as good as uh, Yoshimitsu's jumping K. You can use that. Uh, I don't know if the jumping K will actually hit them, because uh, they're kind of in a low state. But I know that jumping B will hit for sure. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Just teabagging. Accidentally teabagging each other, because we're, we're so, uh... Oh, fuck. And I tried, uh, tried getting a suicide landing, because I didn't think that uh, he'd sidestep it. But unfortunately he did, and I dropped my my just input, but we get the round anyway, and that's cool with me. Um, play this booster guy a few times, he's a decent Ziba, um, not obnoxious or annoying to fight or anything like that, so that's a positive. And that, I was fucking going for a guard break so I could get a free, I believe it's a free launcher if you get a guard break off Bad Breath, but um, I haven't tried using Bad Breath in rank until recently. Um, if it is a free guard break launcher, um, that's something that I knew a while ago before I started playing some other stuff recently. So, um, next gameplay I will 
get back to you guys on that if you were curious about it, because um, I don't know off the top of my head. So, <laughs> all right, this guy was a fucker. Um, he was very uh, cocky for being in a uh, A rank with only a uh, fifty percent win loss, I think, or sixty percent or something like. Not a whole high number. Um, but he was a smug guy. Um, maybe it, it was either this guy or another guy. If I'm taunting at the end, then it was this guy. If, it, if I'm not, then it wasn't this guy. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, he beat me with, like, two ring outs on that one Patroclus map. And, uh... Oh! His miss stand stepped back fucking dodged the uh, Flea Stance K launcher so I didn't get the combo. That's fucking nuts. That is banana nuts. My nuts. I didn't even know you could fucking do that. That's fucking sweet. Um, so I guess more you know for Mitsurugi players. The low was obvious. I, I should have uh, gone for it. Or blocked it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, uh, I'm in super fuck this guy up mode. And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not having that, man. We ain't, we ain't doing this. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> so I'm going in, trying to uh, mix him up, and you get him. Um, I might have said it last video, but if uh, Mitsurugis are in their mist stance, and they go for the uh, heavy overhead mid that lets them combo, I think it's a uh, mist stance and then forward A plus B or B. Uh, I don't know Mitsurugi notation, so... <laughs> Um, but if they go for that, just BB, because the first B will start their rage mode that would increase the damage, and the second B will, um, cancel it increasing, or not increasing our damage or their damage. Um, if they're doing a guard break, by the way, just, just stay low. Just lay down. Don't, don't stand up. Don't let them mix you up, because if they go low again with the sweep, you can just immediately block low, and when you, you'll get woken up into blocking low. <laughs> so, um, but as I was saying, um, what was I trying to say? What was I trying to say? Oh, uh, BB, um, the first B will activate the rage mode, which would increase the normal damage on it, but it's, BB is so fast that the second B that comes out will cancel the, uh, attack altogether, so you're safe. So, just something to kind of take note of and remember. And obviously that works for all characters that have a BB, which none of them don't, so, yeah. Um, and I don't know, does Algol have a, uh, uh chair squeak? Fuck, that's loud. <laughs> uh, does Algol have a, uh, I really hope my microphone has been, um, in the right spot the whole time. So, um, yeah, uh. I don't know, does Algol have a, uh, a free throw tech, or does he auto throw tech? What, what's the deal with that? Because, um, I always see them breaking throws, and it's always the same, uh, throw break animation. It's always that, like, <laughs> that, um, they teleport back a little bit. And I also was wondering if, um, I have any Algol players that watch me, or anybody that knows, um, how do you avoid that, um, Said they've got two rounds on you. How do you avoid that start of the round setup combo that does like 60% health where they throw the unblockable chair behind you? And I actually did not know that this covered full screen. I didn't know that this tracked where you were, and I paused to try and skip the animation. <laughs> um, but it, like I was trying to say, um, how do you avoid the unblockable setup that does like 60% health um, with the unblockable chair that he calls up behind you? Um, I mean, I've been hit by that so many times, I just never know, like, what I can do to evade it. And if you're wondering why I'm not stepping or side doing anything, um, the connection actually drops and gets really laggy, and um, everything I'm doing is delayed. So, if I would have wanted that door knocker to work, I would have had to do it, like, a second earlier. Um, and so this guy just tries to thrust at me, so I'm just like, nah, Papa, don't have that. So I just start BBing because, well, BB beats everything. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And 
See, the, that, that felt like it was very, uh, conditional. Like, like he was making a lag or something, but... So, this was one of my favorite fucking people to play. Um, this matchup was sick. Um, he had some great fucking matches. Um, I think he was trying a different combo. I haven't played Cervantes in a long time. Um, like I was saying, though, uh, he was sick. He was really good. Um, we had some great fucking games. I love the fuck out of playing this guy because he was really good. He knew his Cervantes, Curve and Tease, really well. Um, but yeah, so a fun fact that I found out, um, well, because I've been, uh, I'm super into like the Soul Calibur lore because I've always been since I was a little kid. Um, and I actually found out that, um, like, I knew that. Yoshimitsu had some sort of quarrel with uh, Cervantes, but I didn't know why. And I found out it was because um, Cervantes and Yoshimitsu the first got into a big scrap, and um, Yoshimitsu the first was critically injured from it, which was uh, why he had to pass on his name because he knew he was going to die. So he gave it to the. Uh, I believe it was strongest member of his clan or the second in command. Um, and the way that he passed on the name was by killing Yoshimitsu the first and taking his swords. And the swords were like, uh, I think the I think it was they they said the swords resonated as he reached for them and he called out, "I am Yoshimitsu the second obey me something something along those lines that was me trying to um do a, a good uh reading voice and a, a good yoshimitsu voice <laughs> clearly uh falling short on both of those and see i'm used to um bad cervantes players uh going for the uh the, uh, the throw out of the backstab, but he's smart and he knows that he can get more damage off of the uh, the backstab than the throw, so he was going for the, the stab every time. Um, I don't know why he did that one, because that's unsafe and I could have launched or punished it as well, which would have been no bueno in his case, but that was a semi-sick uh, wall combo. I mean, it was like six three beads, but oh well. That was a good fucking match. Um, I lucked out, though, with that critical edge there. I didn't think it would catch. Um, I got it right at the end. Look at some Raffy Elbert. Raffy Elbus. Because uh, he's slowly creeping up in terms of a character that I like a lot. Um, in terms of practicality, combos, um, his... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Commodity. Um, he's very uncommon to see. And I, I, I can't think if commodity was the right word or not. But I'm going to say it is, and if it's not, fuck you, I'm the best, so I don't need to listen. <laughs> um, and actually, from uh, preparation, when you do two into the B variant, you can, um, you can do a 3-3. Three, three, the Brave Edge to get the launcher, and then you can do six, uh, six BBB Brave Edge, and um, if you have it set up right and you time the uh, the time when you do six BBB, um, you can combo the full thing for a hundred and I think it's seven or ten damage, um, which is a lot. And unfortunately, I thought that. The pre preparation backstep would have uh, completely dodged the critical edge there, and I would have gotten the round 3-0 clean, but oh well. I like playing, so that was a benefit. Um, so yeah, um, it's it's just the timing for the 3-3-B uh, three, three Brave Ed, or 3-3-K, three, three sorry, it's 3-3-K. Three, three 3-3-K three, three Brave Ed is a little wonky, a little goofy, um, but... Nonetheless, it's, uh, 
it does combo, and so does the 6B. The 6B is just all um, situational. I mean, you can do it no matter what, just for extra damage, but um, you can get more damage depending on if they're against the wall and they can't air control away and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Yoshimitsu nut bang into a ring out is... I remember that, and I remember I was just like, YOU MOTHERFUCKER! And I was screaming. Not not screaming completely pissed off, just kind of screaming because I was like, Oh, that's so fucking gay! Plus, Zeta's fucking, uh, garden packs were royally fucking my tightly puckered anus, and I, I did not know what to do about them, because it seemed like they would last just long, just where he needed them to last, and I would end up getting beat by them because of it. Um, and I remember my mindset, at this point, I, right before I did the unblockable, I was like, why don't you go for the, uh, sure side there, Kyle? And, um, I didn't, because obviously, it would have given him two on me instead of one, and that would have meant he only needed to win one more to knock me out. And that is the sickest fake out mix up ever. Um, that's one of my favorite mix ups. Uh, my favorite is especially after you do it a bunch. And um, they just started. <laughs> there you go. There's some suicide chaos for you, my friend. Um, my favorite is um, when you're doing it a bunch. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're doing some on the fly maintenance here. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? That's way too early. The match was still going on. There we go. Okay. We're all good. <laughs> the the gameplay, I just edited it as this was playing. Um, the match came to an end way too early. So it, it, I, I must have edited it wrong. And it started to uh, fade out before the ring out happened. <laughs> so I had to do some super... XD random bad motherfucker uh, editing before <laughs> before it got too late. But anyways, this guy uh, this was the actual first um, legitimately titled rank down match I've ever played. Like I've never seen a rank down match before. I've seen rank ups and I've de ranked people from from beating them, but. Um, when I would beat them, it wasn't titled a rankdown match, it was they lost too many points. Um, so I don't know what, what this guy was doing that he got a rankdown match, and I don't know if he was losing on purpose trying to get deranked so that he could go fight low players or something, but nonetheless, this was um, a first in all the times I've played Soul Calibur, so uh, that was uncommon, it was uncommon. Um, he, I don't know, he tried doing the, uh, <laughs> the Critical Edge, which, Viola's Critical Edge is terrible. You do not want to use Viola and use her meter on her Critical Edge. I mean, I'm sure some people have made some pretty sick setups for it. Um, I believe there's even some instant ring outs with it, which is gay, but, I mean, that's pretty fucking clever that you've done that. Um, but... <laughs> it is it is not as good as all of her other meter use moves. So you're better off using her Brave Edges that extend combos. I mean, she's got Death Touch combos with two meter, if you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> so if you're if you're playing by alone using that Critical Edge, stop, man. You got to uh, you got to learn those Death Touch combos. I mean, I don't condone you using them against me or other players, but you know you can use most of them to get a lot of damage on somebody. <laughs> Most of it, not most of them. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is the uh, the special finish round round game that I was talking about. Um, like I said, there's nothing really particularly special about it. Um, it was just something that I had never done or seen before in all the time I played Soul Calibur. So uh, I thought it was kind of cool, and I was like, you know what? I'll save this for the very end. Um, yeah, it was a good nightmare too. Uh, he knew his mix-up. He knew his stance changes. I liked his power swap too. It was really plain, but still looked good. Uh, that three B, 
beats out a lot of stuff, <laughs> especially from that uh, that mix-up right there. Um, everybody tries to immediately punish a uh, Majin Dragonfly B, but um, if you don't wait a second, you can immediately get 3 beat afterwards if your move is too slow. Um, unfortunately, he uh, you can't get woke up too fast, but catch him with the Dragonfly, kick, um, but he gets the fucking critical edge, and I forgot that he had it. And then I'm at the corner, and I'm like, no, 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 he's gonna flat jack. And then he gets the fucking, the, uh, <laughs> the crouching 3B for the ring out. Oh, and I was just so fucking mad, because everything that round was so fucking right. My pressure was perfect, my combos were on point, um, and then he gets another ring out. And at this point, I'm fucking sweating it. I'm nervous. I'm like, you know what? I want to get one more match. And I want to get at least a win for one more match so that I can, um, you know, quit recording and go play something else. Because I've been playing this for like five hours. So he gets me in there. We're down to nothing. Um, I throw out a critical edge because I figure, okay, he's going to immediately follow up the second after I try and do this. So he's going to be caught pressing a button and I'm going to catch him with it, and then I'm going to teleport in and try and get a launcher, but I don't. I get the, uh, the lane.